Hello, 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 my people. So I feel like I haven't been on live in some time. What's going on Instagram? What's going on Facebook? Uh, it's the wealthy guy here. And tonight's topic is men's shoes. Um, so I debated on whether or not I was going to actually do men's shoes um, because when I went through my shoes, I noticed that I have a lot of the same shoes um, or the same style of shoe. And I was like, oh man, I can't really talk about shoes if I really kind of only wear, you know, the same types of styles. But I said, you know what, I'm still going to talk about men's shoes. Um, and tonight what I did was, you know, I went through my shoe racks and I pulled out um, some different styles of shoes to be able to share um, tonight and talk about, you know, talk about the styles uh, and talk about why I like them. Um, and as you know, um, you know, I, I call myself a classic man. I like very classic styles and um, I, I tend to wear classic style shoes. So tonight I'm going to talk about shoes. I'm going to talk about shoe care. Um, and I'm also going to, you know, talk about why, you know, I, I, I like the shoes. So for my people on Facebook, um, I actually have a poll. The last time I went live, I forgot to uh, announce that I had a poll. So the poll is what type of men's shoes do you like the most? And some of the options are uh, loafers, cap toes, Oxfords, and, and Chelsea boots. So tonight I'm going to be talking about shoes that that I like um, and, and that complement my style and, and, and the way that, that, that I dress. So I won't talk about all styles of shoes um, tonight um, because sometimes I get in trouble for not mentioning certain things. But again, uh, what the things that I talk about are based off of um, my style and, and, and what I like. So let's see who's on, what's going on? What's going on, who's on, who's on? Let's see, Michael, Tim, Brett, AJ, Howard, Sydney, Benny, Kristen, Brian, Jay Tyler, Jarek, what's going on? Eris, Eddie, the elite gent, what's going on? The, the names on Instagram, Tristan, I see you. The names on Instagram, like Facebook, it's like the person's name usually, but then on Instagram, people have like their different name. Powis Brun Brunswick, Monarch, I think, I think, but thank you for tuning in. Let's get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna go from more casual uh, and then bring it up to more classy. Um, so the first shoe that I wanna start with is a shoe that I love that I don't wear very often, but I think that it's, it's really cool because it's a cross between a shoe and, 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 and a sneaker. The sole, I just absolutely love it. Um, these are some Paul Smith Oxfords that I absolutely love. They have like a wingtip, but then as you can see, the sole is like a sneaker. Um, and the challenge with a shoe like this is that this white sole. So even though I've had this, this particular shoe for some time, I'm always kind of cautious about where, you know, where I'm gonna wear it. Is it raining? Is it not? What's going on? Um, so that I can preserve this sole. But this is a great shoe that goes well with jeans um it, it it goes well you know with with the trouser too it all depends on the type of um look that i'm going going for um i've worn i've even worn this shoe with a suit all right so for a more casual um look um but you know it really looks good um dressed down and if you want to give more of a you know a little funkier look um you can, you know, you can, you can dress it up with, with your suit. Um, so right off the bat, what I wanted, to, what I want to mention is, as you can see inside the shoe, I have a shoe tree. Always put shoe trees in my shoes, holds the shape. Um, when you take them off, it helps with, you know, moisture from your feet to absorb that moisture to prevent, you know, shoes from getting smelly. Um, shoe trees, you know, they, 
they can be very expensive, um, but then they can also be, this is actually a, a, a relatively inexpensive shoe tree. I'll pull it out for you. Um, that I got, I want to say online, Amazon or something like that. It was probably 12 bucks for the pair. Um, another place that I, that I uh, get shoe trees from that are around 12, 13 bucks a pair uh, uh, is uh, Century 21. You know, I always talk about Century 21. Um, but always, you know, put shoe trees in your shoes really helps to um, enhance the life of the shoe as well as hold the shape of the shoe as well as absorb moisture. Okay, next shoe I'm going to talk about is one that I've mentioned this shoe before. Um, and it's, it's, it's a shoe that I didn't always love, um, but I've grown to love over time. And it's the Chelsea boot. I don't particularly care for the Chelsea boots that are super pointed at the front. This one has more of a rounded um, toe in the front, and I absolutely love it. The fit is, is amazing. The leather on it is amazing. This particular one is Paul Smith. Um, and then again, you can see inside, got that shoe tree inside of it um, to preserve it. And then not only that, at the bottom, got that tap, got that tap. So I've talked about this before as well, right? Really important. You buy a nice pair of shoes. This, this particular pair of shoes, this Paul Smith pair of shoes is a, I want to say, eight or $900 shoe. Of course, I didn't pay eight or $900, you know? I'm all about the discount in, in, in the budget, right? I got this shoe on sale, of course. First thing I do when I get a pair of shoes is go to the cobbler, get a tap, put on those shoes, cost eight bucks. It will definitely extend the life of your soul, right? Especially in the back, you know, you walk in on the street, the soul starts to get you know, worn down. The next thing you know, it's like doing a butterfly and it's just like, it's just not a good look. One of my pet peeves is seeing a guy looking so dapper and then I get down to his shoes and one, they're not polished. And then two, the soul is just really, really worn down. So guys, make sure that you go, uh, so every time you buy a pair of shoes, make sure you get them tapped. So an $8 investment, um, extend the life of your shoes. Also, you know, if you wear your shoes a lot, spend, uh, I mean, shoe shines cost different prices depending on where, but on average five, six bucks and you give them, you know, a couple dollars tip, get the shoe shined up. Have them looking good. There's nothing worse than a guy that's like looking all dapper and then you get down to his shoes and they just scuffed up and, and, and just not, not, not good looking. So Chelsea boots. Um, again, Chelsea boots go with jeans, right? Um, Chelsea boots also can go with a suit. I've actually worn Chelsea boots with this particular suit that I have, that I have on and, 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 and it looked great. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Who's saying what? Judy, Joseph, Desmond, hello, Ivan, Tobias, Derek, Andrew, Christopher, Blackademic. Yes, the elite gent says taps are so important. Yes, they are. They will help you to extend the life of your shoe. Now, the next shoe is one of my all-time favorites and the reason why i was contemplating not actually doing this particular you know uh, live on shoes is because i have so many of the same style it is a cap toe Ooh. this is an elegant man shoe right here and what i love about this shoe is that it has kind of like the design here of that you would find on a wingtip, but it's on the front of a cap toe. Very elegant, very sleek. This particular pair is Magnani. I've talked about Magnani's before. I love Magnani's. They range from, you know, in the 200s to, I want to say the four to 500s. I always get them from off sacks um, or um, 
Neiman Marcus last call, 450, 160 bucks. They last, they're amazing. Well-made shoe, Italian leather, last a long time. Again, got that shoe tree going on and boom, got that tap going on. As you can see, I wear these a lot. Um, in a lot of my images, I have these shoes on. They are my absolute favorite. And every year I probably buy this the, the same one because I I just I just love this shoe and it looks really great with a tailored suit. Really, really good. Now, for something to oh, these can also be worn with, you know, a, a slim or a skinny pair of jeans. Um, and 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 also look great. Throw it on with a pair of jeans and a a uh, a blazer, you'd be on point. All right, so the next shoe is one that I don't wear very often, but I absolutely love it, and it's such a fun shoe. And when I do wear, it, people are always like, "Ooh, that's a great shoe." But it is definitely not for everybody. Ooh, look at that! This is actually uh, it's. I mean, the light is on it, but is it? This is a pink shoe again. Same style, right? That I that I love. Very sleek shoe. Look at this. Look at this sole. This wood sole. This is a good shoe. This is a good shoe right here. Um, this again is a Paul Smith, right? This is about a five hundred dollar shoe that I got for probably I want to say less than two hundred dollars, uh, which is great because you know. I, I don't wear them often. I, as you can see, they they re, re, don't even really have any creases or anything because I don't wear them. I only pull them out once in a while. Um, I mentioned that shoe trees, you know, they range from like 12 bucks um, and they can even go up to uh, $200. This is actually one of those $200 pair of uh, shoe trees. Um, let me show it to you. It is is beautiful, actually. This is a Ferragamo shoe tree. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Ferragamo on there. This is a Ferragamo shoe tree. This was actually a gift um, because I wouldn't I would not pay uh, that type of price for a shoe tree. Um, but they are beautiful. Like, if you're going to spend a lot of money on a shoe, you want to make sure that you are taking care of it. This Ferragamo shoe tree is a beauty. I love it. Um, ironically, I don't have it in a pair of Ferragamo shoes, um, but I do have a pair. Oh, I didn't pull them out. I didn't pull them over here, and I can't, like, walk off the live and come back. But the next shoe that I was going to talk about was a Ferragamo loafer. Um Again, a shoe that can be worn with um, a suit or can be worn um, casually. Um, oh, and I was trying to uh, make sure that, I know I said I was gonna go live at 8.30 and I'm like trying to rush, trying to get everything together, trying to light myself correctly. And I left the Ferragamo shoes uh, over, uh, over by my bedroom door. Uh, so maybe another time I'll show the Ferragamo shoe, but Ferragamo loafer, such a classic shoe, can get it on sale, right? Look out for the sales again, places like Saks. Um, I think, I want to say I've seen them at Off Saks as well, but you can get, you know, a pair of Ferragamo loafers definitely on sale. Um, you know, I wouldn't pay full price for them. Full price, they're, you know, relatively expensive. Um, but Ferragamo's such a well-made shoe, such a classic man shoe. Um, I absolutely love um, Ferragamo's. Um, next shoe that I want to talk about is a double monk strap. So some guys love a single. Um, I, I am... Um, partial to the double monk. Um, and this is a, like a cap toe double monk. Um, this shoe actually has a rubber sole. Uh, got the shoe tree going on. And even though this shoe has, well, no, I should say, especially since this shoe has a rubber sole, 
I got that tap on it, right? Like you do not want to wear these out to the point where that rubber sole kind of, you know, is gone. I have got uh, plenty of shoes resold, right? And it depends on where you go to, to, to get the sole. I wanna see how they, these are not resold. So these are, uh, this rubber sole came um, with it. Um, but when shoot when you when the sole of the shoe gets worn down, you can resole it, right? Especially if you've taken care of this part of the shoe. Make sure that you got it shined regularly, um, kept your shoe trees in it. Uh, you don't want to throw away a good pair of shoes just because the sole has been damaged. Get the shoe resold, and you can get continuous life out out of the shoe until you you can't until this part is just really really messed up but a double monk strap again goes great with a suit um as well as can go great with um a jeans look with a um you know a jeans in 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 a jacket look um so that's the double monk strap next one okay before i get to the more um you know, classy or more formal shoe, I wanna talk about these things. So I mentioned these on a previous live. I used to think that these things, well, they they are ugly. I'm, I, these are ugly. But I used to think that these things were such a like grandpa thing. And, you know, what I began to realize, especially as I wore suits and, and nice shoes all the time, was that you don't want to be in the rain, in the snow with your nice shoes that you invested money in. So I actually, you know, got a pair of these from Century 21. They were 12 bucks there. I want to say they're called galoshes. Ugly. They are very ugly. But they look like a shoe. Um, but the purpose is to protect your shoe from... Uh, the elements. So they would go, you know, right over the shoe. And it looks like a shoe over the shoe, right? So your pant would probably cover, you know, most of this part. So it looks like a shoe, but it's like rubber, but this is, these are so great for inclement weather. Like these will really protect your shoes. And it's a, such a small investment, 10 or 12 bucks to get these. You may feel like, you know, you shouldn't be wearing them, but you should because they protect your investment. Um, so, you know, whenever it's raining really bad or if it's a snowy day, but I'm still, you know, having my suit on and, and looking good, I throw these, these bad boys right over my shoes and I don't care who's looking, who has anything to say about it, because I know that my shoe is going to be, um, protected. Ah, there's so many, so many comments. I'm going to get to the comments in, in, in a minute, but invest in some galoshes. Don't be embarrassed. You know, don't think this is something that your dad will wear. It is, but it is something that is very valuable and something that will protect your shoe investment. Um, again, right, the wealthy guy is all about looking great, not breaking the bank, right? Investing in quality things, right? And maintaining them over uh, over time so that you get your money's worth out of them and you can wear them for a long time and things still look great. That to me is, is important. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about more formal. Ooh. Formal shoe, patent leather. So this shoe I love, it is, you know, a wing tip, but it's not uh the 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 width to me is like the width of a cap toe. It's very sleek. Right, even though it has the the wing here, um, this is my tuxedo shoe, and I've even worn this shoe with other looks if I wanted to give it a little mm, um, because these shoes are are awesome. Another great, you know, patent leather style is 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 the slip on, 
right? I'm not a big fan of the slip on because to me, they almost look like, you know, like women's shoes. But these here, I love. These got the shoe tree going on. Um, this pair, I actually are Louis Vuittons. I know. But I didn't pay full price. And, and no, I didn't get them on sale, right? Because Louis Vuitton doesn't have sales. But I had a little hookup. So um, these are, you know, patent leather formal shoes. Look at this. You see that has the Louis Vuitton little uh, logo right there. But I love these shoes. And I've had them for, you know, quite some time. You know, I've taken care of them. Um, I have my shoe trees in them. Um, and, and they've done, done me well. I, I, you know, when I do wear a tuxedo look, I always get compliments on the shoe because it is such a classic style. It's, it's, it's masculine. Um, it's, it's very sleek. Um, it, it, it it's a, it's an awesome shoe. I love it. Um, and then the last two styles that I'll, you know, show are boots, right? We, we, we have to, have, we have to wear, so I talked about having to wear shoes in the, you know, inclement weather, but every man should have an actual boot, right? That, that you can throw on in, in inclement weather, especially with your, sorry about that. Someone caught my phone. Um, especially something that you can throw on with a nice pair of jeans or something like that. So this chucker here, ooh, look at this. Look at this. I actually don't know the price of this shoe because this was a gift. People give me stuff. If you want to give me something, I, I, I gladly accept. Um, this shoe here, I love. This is actually a Timberland. Um, and, you know, again, with the, like, whitish sole, I'm just always like, mm, I don't know. So this one I actually don't really wear. It. I wear it in the cold for sure, right? I actually had these on today as I was running running my errands um, and, and, you know, getting the furs for the clients. Um, but this is this shoe is, is, is strong. Um, the toe is, is, is almost like a, like a steel toe. Um, it's well made. Um, uh, the leather is, is, is beautiful. Um, you know, if you like Timberlands, but you want something that's not as aggressive as the, you know, construction Timberlands, this is a great option. Um, I, I love this shoe and, you know, it, I've had it for a couple of winters now, but again, right, because of this sole, I actually don't wear it in inclement weather, um, but it, it, it's a great style of, of boot. Um, and then the last one I do actually wear in inclement weather, the duck boot. You got to have a pair of these. Now, these, again, right? casual this is very j crew this is very land's end is very much that that guy um and i love these these never go out of style you will see someone wearing this type of shoe every year never goes out of style and this is uh this shoe is actually um a sperry yes these are sperries right so when when you think of sperries you think of that summer, you know, summer type of shoe, a little slip on, um, but this is a Sperry and they're great. They're great, great for the rain. They're great for the snow. Um, I absolutely love this shoe. Um, you know, it, it got the grip on the bottom. Now this is a shoe that I wouldn't put a tap on, obviously, right? Um, so it helps with the sliding. Um, it's very well made. It has like this rough leather right here. It is nice. Um, so again, classic shoe, never goes out of style. Um, different designers make the shoe. Again, this one is a Sperry. It is a Sperry. Um, and, and I absolutely love it. And it also came with a pair of red laces. So if you wanted something that was a little more brighter and, and bold, you could put in the, in, in the red laces. But I usually just keep in um, the brown. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. And I, I went, through, went through it relatively quickly, but I'm going to try to take a look at some of the comments and see if I can 
answer some questions that people have or see what people love. Love my boots. Elite Gent, what kind of boots? What kind of boots? Let me know what kind of boots. Um, and then also, you know, for the people on the Facebook Live, I actually have a poll. What type of men's shoes do you like most? Let me know. Let me know. Take the poll. Take the poll. Oh, I didn't even publish the poll. The poll is published now. Um, so let's see. Would be so cute with neutral color suit. Taps are important. Yes, they are. Um, okay, so let me go to Florishime is your go-to. Florishime, classic shoes, well-made. Price point is is good. They go on sale. They, they go on sale. Elite Gent Florishime is you know. And I also saw someone write Edmund Allen's. Uh, yes, so Terrell Chu, every gentleman has to own a pair of Edmund Allen's. I will agree with that in terms of the style. Um, I don't own Edmund Allen's because some, uh, for, for me, the shoe doesn't fit as sleek as some of the other shoes that that I like. It's a little, a little wide and I like a narrow, like, uh, sleeker shoe. But Allen Edmonds, again, another brand that is a classic man shoe. Um, you can get on sale. Century 21 always has Allen Edmonds on sale. So Terrell, I agree. Yes. What about the coat with the fur on the collar? I won't be talking about the coat today, but if you want to buy a coat, I'm always, listen, DM me. Um, the coats are still for sale. Um, I showed the furs today. I went to uh, the furrier today. I saw some beautiful pelts today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So if you want something unique, let me know. Um, good evening, Anthony, good evening. Love the pick in the background. Thank you. Uh, artist Michael Wilson actually painted this of me right here in, 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 in my space. Uh, I sat for about five hours for him to do this. It, and it's actually uh, much bigger than you can see in, in, in the screen. Oh, it, it, the people on, can't see it here. Oh, God. Bring it in. Yeah, so I sat for this. Um, it was an honor to have someone like uh, pay me. Yeah, so Michael Wilson, you can find him on Facebook. He is an artist here in in New York, and he does um, he's he does amazing work. Monsieur Poppy, yes, you should get a coat from me if you want that. You know that drip. That's the you know the the new thing. The drip. Um, um, my, I, oh, Terrell, so my IG is actually in my profile. So if you go, uh, click on, you know, like my name on, on Facebook and go to my profile, it's up, it's right there. What's your treat? So Sharita, are you still on? Sharita is asking, what's a shoe, a shoe tree for? Shoe tree is to protect your shoes, keep the shape, uh, protection in terms of, you know, our feet sweat, things like that. Uh, it absorbs moisture, so it helps to keep your, your shoes, the shape of your shoes and keep, keep your shoe in, in good condition. Keep the shape, oh, thanks Terrell for coming in and, and answering that. Keeps the life of your shoes, good, good, good. Yeah, double monk strap with distressed jeans. Double monk strap, listen, a Chelsea boot is a brunch boot. A double monk strap is a, is, is a, is a brunch boot. Yes, the galoshes, yeah, man. You, it's, it's a small investment to protect your shoes. And again, right, this pair actually looks like, you know, like a loafer. So if it, it, it goes perfectly over the shoes, 
most of this part will be covered by your pant so you wouldn't even it wouldn't even look too too crazy i usually wear loafers i have to be able to slip in and out of my shoes fast and client houses yeah meslin yes yeah meslin too uh who sells meslin uh, bloomingdale's sacks off sacks listen y'all y'all get up on off sacks off sacks has the the shoes and the deals ig is the wealthy guys so t-h-e-w-e-l T-H-E-G-U-Y, and it's also in, in, in uh, the title of the live, so um, live with the wealthy guy. Oh, what's next for me? Oh, man, so I, don't want, I, I'm, I won't give it all, I, I'm not going to give it all away. I do have some things brewing. I do have some, some good things brewing that I'm not, I, I really can't talk about just yet. Um, one of the things that I will talk about though is um, I, so people are always asking me about suits. Oh, you know, do you make the suits that you wear in your, your, your images and your videos? No, this one is actually a J. Crew, J. Crew suit. J. Crew had the crazy sale. They have it every year 40% off the Ludlow suits, 40% off. They even had, I, I actually posted about it on, on my Facebook. Um, the sale's over though, um, forty percent off. So I could have gotten a tuxedo for two hundred and seventy-three dollars from J. Crew. Two hundred and that is ridiculous. Beautiful tuxedo, shawl collar tuxedo. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to do that more too. When I see these sales that I think people will really benefit from, I'm gonna make sure that I like post about it. All right, Terrell, yes, definitely. Just uh, send me a message, a private message. Um, so yeah, so wealthy guy, um, I definitely am going into men's suiting. I was actually talking with the manufacturer today about it. Um, ideally, I wanna do just a few suits. It, it, it won't be a whole, custom thing like with the coats right so it'll be a navy it'll be a gray it'll be um a black either you know just uh single breasted um or a uh tuxedo and i have to do a double breasted classic man double breasted so that is something that i'm working on uh so in addition to continuing to sell the wealthy top coats um, I'm going to be moving into suits as well. So I'm just working on the design. Of course, it's going to be, you know, slim, slim cut, um, elegant, good material. What else? What else? Yeah. So, yeah. So there's other things going on too. But again, as I'm able to like talk about them, I will. I know that's the worst, right? When somebody's like, Oh, I got something to tell you, but I can't tell you right now. Um, but I can't tell you right now. Um, but I've gotten so much love from my Facebook family, my IG family, and you guys have connected me with so many people that have offered me a lot of awesome opportunities. And yeah, like just 2019 is gonna is 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 gonna be is gonna be great, and a lot more people will know. The wealthy guy um so so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that and you know for me what's most important is one i love sharing information two you know it is in to me so important to be smart about how you spend your money all right and clothes are awesome and i think a lot of times our people you know, we get caught up in looking at, you know, TV and this and that and the other and seeing all of these nice expensive clothes and these expensive designers and paying all of this money for clothes when 
people with a lot of money don't even really pay a lot of money for clothes, you know? So it's just like, yeah. So it's important to me to educate people on, yeah, you can look nice, you can look great, but you don't have to go out and spend all of your money, right? I, and what I always tell people is that the only people that you probably are impressing by spending $1,500 on Louboutins or whatever are poor people poorer than you, you know? Like, so that's just kind of my take take on it. Um, yes, what else? What else? So I want to thank everybody. Uh, shout out to my cousin. Hey, my cousin is on. What's going on, different breed, A? Eh? Oh, <laughs> so my other cousin is using my other cousin's uh instagram to say hey now what's going on so yeah so a lot of exciting things with 2019 um with the wealthy guy and products that that i will offer you know i did a you know i asked people what city should i come to in 2019 i'm definitely gonna hit a few major cities and surrounding areas so people still tell me, where do you want me? Where do you where do you want me to come? Do you want me to come to your city? Why should I come to your city? Um, some of the cities that I have on the list, of course, Chicago, uh, Philly, uh, DC. Um, I haven't decided where in Florida. I, I need more people to tell me about Florida. Um, I, I have a lot of people, a lot of followers from north and south carolina i have a lot of followers from ohio um from cleveland and columbus um i have followers atlanta atlanta for sure i'll be i'll be in the building for sure uh atlanta um in la i've never been to la i have to go to la so if you're in la and you follow me and you want the wealthy guy to come to la tell me why i should come north carolina right Come to Delaware. I passed through Delaware many times, but I'm I don't I, I don't recall spending time in Delaware. But yes, Delaware, Wilmington, um, Greensboro, North Carolina. I I want people to really like rep their city and tell me why I should come to their their city. Um, and when I do come to cities, my goal is one, of course, to like meet people. Um, two, uh, of course, to do business, get my money, um, and three, to give back to your communities in, in some way. So what I'm thinking right now is um, I like to go to like high schools or, or, or middle schools, maybe one or two, I won't be able to go to that many, and talk to them about Dress for Success um, and kind of my, my, my path to entrepreneurship, right? Because for a very long time, I worked in a corporate environment and, you know, within the last few years, I just said, I'm going for mine and I am going to leave my mark on the world uh, with things that have my name on it. And that's what I've been doing ever since. And I think that there's so many people that need to hear that message and would benefit from that message. Um, so if you connected with schools and, and, and different organizations in your city, send me a message, right? Like, let me know what, what's going to help us with our cowboy boots in Dallas. <laughs> Shinobi, how you doing? Connecticut. A few people, a few people mentioned Connecticut, but most, most people are mentioning Southern states, Midwest states, Texas, Texas, I went to Texas in in uh, in November. I definitely want to go back to Texas. I went to Houston, but I want to come to come, uh, go to Dallas. Come to Detroit. Detroit is a place that I want to go as well. Yes, yeah, definitely, definitely. I want to come uh, go to Dallas. Um, so again, right? Like, if you're connected with organizations in 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 your city and you would love to have like the wealthy guy come there and you know talk about uh dress for success um as well as some of my other experiences let's make it happen 
Um, so thank you for your time. I want to say I've been on for like an hour, but thank you for your time. Um, I'm going to actually go and eat now. Um, and I have some, some work to finish. Um, last thing I'll say, he probably, he's probably not on, but maybe he'll watch this afterwards. Um, shout out to D Taylor photography. So Daryl Taylor is someone who I worked at the bank with. Um, I used to travel all the time for work and I, for two years, I, I, travel uh, between New York and Baltimore. And he was someone who was a part of my like team uh, in, in, in Baltimore. And, and he, you know, went on vacation and he came back and was like, I'm out of here. I'm going to do my own thing. Even before I thought about like leaving and doing my own thing. And he was in New York today. Um, and he stopped by to visit me. So shout out to him. Proud of you. Um, doing your thing. Um, yeah. So next week, live, Tuesday, Wednesday, I try to go around one of those days around this time. I'll announce it. Um, and I think that's it. Let me just look real quick, real quick. For any question, do a whole video and broadcast session. I am. I am still working on my, my YouTube uh I just been I've been really busy. I've been really busy, but I'm I'm going to I'm going to get it done because I already put it out there in in, in the universe. I don't want to be a Amadou. You know, do y'all do you guys know what an Amadou is? All right. Uh, Amadou, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that and and never do it. Um so the the pay the YouTube channel is up already. The wealthy guy YouTube channel is up. But there, I'm I'm waiting on on putting up the content um, because I want it to be right and I want it to be different than what people see on my Facebook and and on my Instagram, right? I'm, it it should it should be different. So thank you for your time. Thank you for all the people that tuned in tonight. Um, you know, leave, continue to leave comments, send me messages, um, and I will see you live again next week.